Welcome back to the channel, Fishing Freaks! It is time to do some dangling, and this day is special. Now I'm going to explain to you why in just a minute, but today's video is sponsored by our friends over at Carl's. ShopCarls.com is chocked full of everything you need to get geared up for springtime fishing and beyond, y'all. I mean, for everything from rods, reel, line, terminal tackle, all the latest Guggen uh, drops, our apparel as well. Everything is on Carl's and you can save big at Carl's by becoming a member. So for you watching this video right now, you can actually save $10 off your first order uh, over 25 bucks when you sign up to be a Carl's member. So over time, I'm telling you guys, it saves you a ton of money and you're not gonna find Guggen baits uh, and all of our stuff for a lower price. So shopcarls.com, place to go. Link is down in the description. You can use my promo code as well right here, this beautiful one. And you guys are gonna see in the video what we're using here today. It's all available at shopcarls.com, but the heavy hitters, this is gonna be your Lunker Log and your Bandito Bug, man. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm rigging this and fishing this in the video, but these are your springtime best buddies right here as, as far as plastics go. Oh, it smells so good. And thank you, Carl's, for sponsoring today's video. Now, roll the tape. So just to kind of set this up for you here, guys. I've seen this uh, happen for years. It, it occurs on a, a different week every month, a, a different uh, moon. It's always under a full moon, but it happens at a certain week. It's when that water temperature, which is 62 as we're getting on the lake, uh, which is the perfect temperature for spawning, meets the full moon or an approaching full moon by a few days, which we are like a day or two away from a full moon. So fish are rushing to the bank and we watch the progression throughout the day so it's a really cool video to kind of watch them transition a little bit yeah, uh, as waters. we go along do our fish. This water's just right. And we're starting off throwing moving baits and I'm thinking we're going to get slammed on our vibe jigs, our spinner baits. Um, Trey's throwing a saucy swimmer up there on a little underspin uh, around some shallow cover. I'm throwing a swim jig. Uh, our grass hero with a little crack and crawl trailer trying to bust through some of this shallow cover that I've honestly never even seen the cover look this good on this lake. I'm thinking they are going to be up in it munching, but they're not. They're not eating those moving baits. Uh, so about after an hour of that, I started to realize, okay, full moon, these fish are probably getting into their lockdown or cruising modes and not really in that uh, eating a moving bait mode. And that just comes from years of experience fishing in the spring during the full moon and knowing when to transition to this, but everyone knows this in the spring. You got to have uh, a wacky rig stick bait or at least some sort of stick bait or uh, shad cell bait like our dart to kind of dart around and just do that, that slow fall. Um, and a wacky rig, the way I'm, I'm rigging it today is very simple. Uh, you just take, I'm taking a one aught finesse style hook and I'm just putting it right through the middle of the bait. And hopefully everyone's done this, but if you have not, uh, this is an excellent way to catch fish when they are in an area, uh, but they're not chasing moving baits. And this thing just kind of sinks slowly through the water column and it wiggles and uh, it gets those fish's attention that are there. They're cruising around, they're kind of looking for beds, they're looking for other fish, but they're not really in that eating mode. So if you know the fish are in the area, you got a good sense of it, uh, water's in that 60s, um, they're just not cranking on those moving baits, that's when I break out the plastics and especially that weightless bait. Hey buddy. Congratulations on the first catch of the day. This is a little, little rule here. First catch. First bass beer. First bass beer, you just gotta do it. Oh, little minis. Yeah, the minis. <sighs> See all those ducks just flushed out of here? There you go. <sighs> this is clear and beautiful. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Watch the wacky rig do the damage. Just gonna do a little quick. 
quick twitching over these. Log jam, yeah, floating approach. See if one might full contact. We might have to lift the troll motor up to. Yep. But we know darn well what's living back here. Got him. Little guy. Oh, he threw my log. Oh, he's, he's wrapped around the tree now. There he goes. Oh, he just, he just pretty much just swallowed it. I need your, I need your big girlfriend. Since it's full moon. Come up here and show me her big old tail fin. Got him. There you go. Yeah. They're, it's that kind of day where they're just up in the... the nursery is back here. I would not be shocked if there was also a large honey in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's uh, underneath the... Well, there's some everywhere. But... Everywhere. I need, I need one of any color imaginable. Oh, the best color imaginable. Green pumpkin blue. So you can throw a weightless wacky ring on whatever you're comfortable with. And I often throw it on both a bait caster and a spinner, uh, spinning rod, but just depending on the, the type of cover that's around, that'll kind of um, make my selection on a bait caster or a spinning rod. I like a spinning rod with braid with a fluorocarbon leader when there's docks around or I just am in clear water, I wanna make a really long cast. So I'm using a spinning rod today um, and it makes it very, very easy to throw that bait, especially if you've got wind, uh, it's extremely easy to throw that. And with a little bit of practice, you can learn to skip this up under trees and you can skip it up under docks and things like that. The weight of that lunker log is, uh, is, is quite hefty and it's got, um, it's got a lot of surface area so you can skip it and with, without having any weight, it really goes a long ways on the spinning rig. So I highly recommend that. Recommend that if you've got overhanging things or things you want to get that under, just keep in mind, you might want to bump up your fluoro leader if you've got either big bass, you know there's huge bass in the, in the lake, or you've just got uh, some hefty cover that you're going to have to get them out. So I recommend starting with 12, um, going up to like 15, maybe even 20, if you've got a uh, real heavy cover around. Oh, you just got his fish. You poached it. Poached it. <laughs> what a move. A little better one there. Uh, that might have been it. I think that was it? Maybe. Well, maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> you want me to put it back? <laughs> Got him. It's too late now. Fish on. You got it. You got to play him out. Come here. Oh, that was beautiful. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. A little under the docks. Trying to spit it, but can't because I got that little finesse hook. Just got that lunky log lodged in my throat. It's a little better. Four, four and a half. There you go. There it is, folks. Look at that. Look at that hook just beautifully stuck in the and upper roof. I'm just, just kind of let them do their thing. Oh, oh, that hook actually came out on that last twist and then still managed to get him. You know, I'm going to say he's an upper three. He's maybe just under four. Just, just over four. Chunky butt, though. 
Love to see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I was about to show the folks at home how you can stick a buddy. Sorry, Trey. There's a beautiful fish right there. Let's check the tail. Doesn't look, doesn't look beat up. Yeah. Let this fish go. See ya. That fish was uh, kind of mid depth, just working the wacky out here on the shade line of this walkway. So just kind of a floater. But oh my goodness, look, look at what we have here. We have sight fishing water. Full moon. Big girls coming to do business. A wacky attacky. Oh. Trey's hooked up. Wacky. Oh, there we go. Spot. Suspended. Is that a spot? No. Largy. Largies are up shallow. Let's get a peek at that guy. I just stalked myself. Nice. Bed right it does look bed like. I see another weightless worm hanging from the tree. This is, this is the program here. These lunker logs are going to die today. Local logs are gonna die. Funny thing is, I think that is my last pack of black or uh, blue babies. I have seven, but I've got other pack of black. That one was also just sucked off the a floater. Bit, and they were just kind of floating around. Yeah, like they're they're swimming up to the bank right now. Cruisers. Let's see if I can log one out of here. Oh, yep, he got it. Oh, come on. Sure did. Yeah, he did not feel big, but. Fish I didn't want to lose. Let's see what happened. Folded you up. Folded me. It happens sometimes. Dang, man, they are, they are on the bank. The blue ladder program. Oh, there's another one. Like <laughs> my freaking reel. <laughs> my, my cheap ass Shimano. Not the Stratix you have for. <laughs> Oh goodness, that one about took the rod out of my hand. Hot action. That's how we do it, boys. Three quarters of the way. They are coming in fresh. Oh, good one. Tasty cake. Got some butts. Getting some sizes on the lunker. Just kind of throwing off the bank a little bit. Trying to get those, trying to get those fiends. Oh, you're going back to March. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I've been jerking for three months. It sounds bad, but that's a black-tailed beauty right there. That one did not come off. Had the, had the good hook set on it. We go nice little three pounder catching hogs on the log i'm gonna throw out in the abyss here for the the whale
Those boys are way out there. Oh, he broke me off. That's a good one, dude. Ah! Felt the weight. Collapsed under the weight. God dang. Ah, uh, frick! That was a big one. Yeah, it's out there in that like three foot zone. I just don't think they're fully engaged. Oh, you just have one uh, flash on. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little buddy assist. I was looking for that. <laughs> Good fish, too. Look at that. Way down. Excellent maneuver, sir. That's a bloody tail three pounder. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! And then look what I did. Squirt. Squirt. I was looking at that, that bloody light spot. Didn't even realize that one had ran out and snatched my. That's two jig bites in about 11 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I missed that catch. That was like, oh. that was a fun buddy moment right there. <laughs> Trey just pulls down. He's like, man, I see a fish right here. <laughs> oh, look at that cruising female. Ooh, female cruiser. Oh, it's a gar. Oh, it is. And uh, he's like, oh, man, my lines. Whoa, or what? I pulled <laughs> he, up, he pulled off. I flipped it from the bed, and I'm like, oh, it scooted off. And then I look at my lines, like 19 <laughs> feet from My me. line is with it. That was funny. That was a one flipper. One flipper. One flipper. They are, they are hot. Hot trot. Shit talking. Caught one out. Counts. This wacky rig's doing some damage here today. Wackies. Spotted bass. No. Margie. Large Marge. Just Marge. crushing bucks. Little boy. GoPro just died. Look at that. Look at that pee. He's doing a little pee action. See that squirt? Pee on the fans at home. He is he is ready to go. Yeah, I think I actually got the lens a little bit. Sorry guys. I did a little something different on this one. I'll be honest with you, this is my first time using this. Let this guy go, a little male, after just breaking off on a big one. So, hadn't retied in days. It's never, never what you want, but I tried one of these little uh, slip-on bands. I've used O-rings before, but I've never used one of these slip-on bands. You just slip your hook through the band, it's kind of slick. I think it'll help you get a better hook set. But I, I was just rigging the hook through the, the worm itself, and I got it got clumped up one time. It just happens the fish chomps it. They kind of twist it up in their mouth, and then it the hook can kind of get into the plastic more. This will be uh, that hook's just fully exposed, and then it'll uh, it'll probably save you some baits as well. Because on our lucker logs, the plastic is a little bit different um, than our other baits. In the arsenal, it's designed to be. Hey man, I'm trying to film a fishing video. I don't know why you're mowing grass on a beautiful spring day, but folks at home can't hear anything I'm saying right now. The point is, uh, our lunker logs they sink really well because they're a denser plastic. You will lose a little bit more, but they catch fish. Very, very action packed. Action packed thriller. Doink. A little spotted bass. That's exactly what would eat that sort of rig. Hey, why are you hating on that rig? Talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't understand it. I just look at that rig and I think. I've never seen you be this mean to bat. <laughs> you went from a trench hog. I actually put it on the wrong way here. To a uh, 
skirted butt plug. Actually, I don't even know if I can go because I'm going on a two week honeymoon like immediately before y'all do that. Oh. Oh. oh, there we go. God, he looked freaking Ooh, cool. running with it. Ooh, dark one. Right up on the bank, huh? Right up on the seawall. There we go. I got one. Oh, goodness, good one. Big one. Oh, good. God, I had to play him out. I thought it was big. <laughs> it's just fun to say big one, is it not? Oh, drag ripper, baby. Mm. Come on, down to Funky Town. Double up with my boy. That's fun times. I like it. Mm. I like it a lot. Mm. Matt, you ready to get in on this action? I can lead up the craft. Your uh, arts and crafts rig I got ready? Shit to do over here, man. I, got... I think the folks at home want to see this thing that you're doing. Well, like what is what? What is it that you're doing here? It's this thing called Hobby Lobby rig. The Hobby Lobby rig. <laughs> Let him go. Still rocking the same lunker log. Really? This might be bad for sales. I probably shouldn't tell people about this little invention we got here. So you're doing a butt worm rig? Is this right? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? You take one of these little little bum plugs and you little stick plug. them in the end of your plastic oh, worm. Oh, this looks like. Let me get one of them. Did you make these yourself or did you order these? Yeah, when my daughters do arts and crafts at home, I make my own. Yeah, it's like an arts and crafts show. I just need to see it work. That's all. I've caught one already on it. What? So on uh, one. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry. Go get under there. <laughs> Gave that guy the full lecture. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Fresh one. Uh -oh. I told you to take that little wacky thing off your head. Put a trench hog on and be, be a man. Ate it, oh. ate it good. Ate it good. So good. That one looks a little suspect as well. Lateral line or just large enough? Where is it? Oh, it's got the red eye. Sure does. You know, Texas Parks and Wildlife asked you to start reporting the uh, black spot sightings. Reported right here. Texas, Texas Parks and Wildlife, if you watch my videos, you would know. Black spots. There you go. Chucky Bucky. Chucky. Pop the jig and eat. So this is the really interesting thing about today is we're catching a lot of fish, getting a ton of bites. Um, I started out throwing that weightless after not getting bites on the moving baits and that really seemed to be the deal. Everybody started switching up throwing uh, the weightless program, but my buddy Trey, it's normally me that does this, but my buddy Trey, he, he just gets out a jig. Uh, he, he likes to get that jig up look just like I do and he eventually starts getting more bites than I am on the weightless and that tells me that those fish are starting to move onto the areas that they want to be in and get defensive and eventually we even see some fish that are getting on bed some male fish not any pairs with big females or anything like that but these fish are starting to lock on because the full moon is setting in that temperature is just right and they're starting to set in. So that is where I like to get either a jig, and Trey's throwing the jig in this case, but I'm throwing a bandito bug on a Texas rig. Quarter ounce weight, um, a three aught hook in there. I'm throwing our new straight shank um, flipping hook, but you can throw it on any uh, three aught 
uh, hook basically. Our hammer hook is extremely good for this as well. And fish it around any type of little cover piece that you see. Fish it slow, make contact with the cover, and don't be afraid to throw it all the way up there to the bank. Because if there's one time of year where they go all the way in the dirt, it is right now. Sorry. It's roll casted on you. Oh my gosh, I have a fish on this entire time. Little Spaquito. Make a bow out of that one stick up that's cut off. Runner. caught just a ton of fish in this episode. I, I, I think we caught over 40 fish. Uh, not all of them were, were on camera, but I think the biggest one was around four pounds and I broke off one uh, that was, was probably bigger, but you never know. It's the one that got away. One more tip I'll give you guys on throwing the weight, any kind of weightless bait uh, is especially using that small hook. Um, fish can sometimes just get that bait and you don't even know it. There's not a weight that's hitting the back of their throat when they suck it in. It's a subtle bite a lot of times and they can have it deep down in there, uh, especially if you, you're just, you don't know, they're just running off with it. So it's always better to just reel into that hook set uh, with those weightless baits then just go ahead and do a big snappy hook set and that's one great thing about the spinning gears you can kind of back off your drag and compensate for that but if you're using that bait caster and you just you know you, all of a sudden it takes you by surprise you whip up and they've got it all the way down there it'll rake across their teeth you'll break the line <laughs> it, it happens to me every year when i first start fishing those weightless really hard when they start uh, flooding the banks. So just be cautious of that. So thank you guys for tuning in to today's video of just uh, classic bank fishing springtime. I, I really enjoyed uh, today's video of fishing and, and definitely want to get out there again. But hopefully if you're lucky enough um, to be around that, that full moon, hopefully you already were, where fish are flooding the bank, it, uh, it's, it's a special day. And especially in clear water where you can actually see the fish doing that but uh, keep those baits that I talked about in in your arsenal and ready to go try to recognize those situations and uh, think you're gonna catch them real good so uh, Godspeed God bless you in the great outdoors guys stay tuned for more outdoor action